Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. There are many different types of AI tools regarding to make your literature survey very easy. We are discussing about the different types of tools like ChatDoc and the Ask Your PDF, Lumina, Humata like that and all. So in that lineup, we are going to discuss an important AI tool which will be very very useful to make your literature review very very easy and also it will be a better tool to analyze your PDF very easily. So let us go on to today's video and explore that AI tool and how it will works out and what are the different options available and how it segregates the particular reference paper and how that reference paper segregation will be improved uh, that is important for our research uh, literature review in our research paper. So the AI tool what we are going to discuss today is the chat in doc. So it is like as like your chat PDF, a brainy PDF. So and then ask your PDF. So here you are going to upload an PDF file. So after that a PDF file upload, it will generate some answers. So let us see how it will works out. So click on chat in doc. So here you can see this is a chat in doc. So just to click on. So you can sign up with uh, just your Google mail ID. So I am going to sign up. So after that you will be getting a dashboard like this here. So after that uh, here you will be having a box called upload file. So in this you have to upload your file. So in this uh, in order to upload your file. So what I am going to say I am going to select a file. So here uh, I have taken this file as an example. So here you can see modeling and simulation of wind power with permanent magnet synchronous generator. So this is the uh, title of the PDF I have taken. So I am going to upload the PDF here. So here go on to that particular dashboard of chat in doc and just uh, drag and drop the file. So here you can see. So I am going to upload the file. The file is started to upload. So after that you can chat with that file. So let us see how it will works out. It will take several seconds to upload. Yes, it is uploaded. So here you can see this is the file that is uploaded. So here you can click that one. So for better understanding. So we, we go on to that particular file location. So thereby you will be getting an easy understanding about that what is the topic we have given so modeling and simulation of wind power with the permanent magnet synchronous generator <coughs> so here this is the thing we have uploaded so why i'm going to ask a question why permanent magnet synchronous generator is used for wind turbine so i'm going to ask a question for in that particular pdf let us see it is a general question i have asked or not any specific related with that particular pdf let us see how with this gpt3 model uh, that is the chat in dog gpt 3.5 power model will generate so here you can see the permanent magnet synchronous generator is used for wind turbines due to several reasons firstly the construction of pmsg is simpler compared to other conventional synchronous generator as it does not require such uh, components such as dc excitation slip rings and brushes yes this itself a very valid answer for our question so i have asked a question so here those who are know that electrically so you can make sure that thi this answer justifies that question what we have asked so in your uh, uh, steam that you can ask the question in that particular pdf so you can uh, check it out so here this answer is a valid answer because the permanent magnet synchronous generator is used in wind turbines due to several reasons firstly the construction of pmsg is simpler compared to other conventional synchronous generator as it does not require components such as dc excitation slip rings and pressure this is a valid point Next, secondly pmsgs are well suited for wind turbines because they can efficiently convert the varying wind speed into electric power this is an important point we have to watch out for so it will con convert the varying wind speed as wind uh, the, the, as there is a rotation in the turbine so uh, it will uh, rotate according to the changes in the wind speed so for the changes uh, varying wind speed it will develop a particular electrical power very precisely additionally pmsg offer a wide range of operating speeds allowing them to adapt the variable wind conditions so furthermore the use of pmsg in wind turbine facilitates 
better control over power output enabling effective maximum power point tracking and power smoothing so by implementing control methods such as those discussed in the mentioned research paper pmsg based wind turbines can optimize the power generation and ensure stable operation so these are the important points which you can avail using this kind of uh, tool so uh, it will generate a particular valid answers for this <coughs> questions we have asked so next uh, why so difference so i don't know whether this question is available in this pdf or not but uh, we can ask whether this will generate uh, answers or not Dif difference between dfig and pmsg in wind turbine so like that i have asked a common question in this related with that particular paper let us see how it will generate answers for that particular question so the, most probably this double field induction generator are also used uh, in this kind of wind turbines or else you can use permanent magnet synchronous generator so these two are also can be used in wind turbine so let us see how it will generate answers for that so here our answer is generator you can see here the main difference between dfig pmsg emitter lights in the generator technology so dfig is a type of wind turbine uh, generator in which both the strata the that is <coughs> motor and stator uh, stator linings are connected in power in this allows the variable speed operation greater control over generated power so like that it will give the difference uh, differences between them two and also it will uh, give the references related with that particular paper so here you can see there is a reference called uh, comprehensive review of w field induction generated based wind power uh, conversion system topologies so this uh, references will uh, present in this particular paper it also give the uh, references <coughs> with this particular point where it is taken so this will be also an important uh, option where you can go for that particular reference paper second and you can analyze that paper also so next uh, the important thing is what is the main finding of the paper so this is what most probably many of them are you asking that so from your reference paper what is the main finding you can obtain so that main finding can be useful for our research article preparation that that is you can use that in your introduction part of your uh, research paper as as a literature review so let us ask the question what is the main finding of that particular paper <coughs> So the main finding of the particular paper is by using a permanent magnet synchronous generator wind power the voltage can be maintained stable the main architecture can be simplified and the wind power can be operated at maximum power point so this is the main finding of the particular paper <coughs> so like that you can uh, make use of this paper so next i am asking summarize the important points and limitations in the above paper so like that i am going to give summarize the important point and limitations in the above paper so let us see how it will works out so because as uh, you are writing a research paper you are need this two things only so you have to explain the what are the problem with that particular paper and also what are the important highlights of that particular paper so here you can see the above paper discuss various aspects of pmsg based grid connected wind turbines they highlight the importance of utilizing renewable energy sources such as wind power to reduce dependency on fossil fuels so here you can see additionally the paper emphasizes the benefits of using pmsg in wind turbines wind power systems by using pmsg the stability of voltage can be maintained so this is what we need so the in summary the paper provides valuable insights in the study and implementation of pmsg based grid connected wind turbines they indicate the need for further improvements in technology emphasize the advantages of pmsg and underline the significance of converter controls in enhancing the performance of wind power system so this uh, points can be very valid and this can be 
useful for our uh, that is to writing a literature review so thereby you can make use of this option in this chat in doc so this will be a fantastic tool which you can use for free to make your literature review very comprehensively very easily and you can ask whatever the question you want there is no suggested question as like in uh, many other literature review tools like chat pdf chat doc like that so here you can use uh, you can ask any question related with that particular document or you can ask general uh, that is general <coughs> that is general questions related with that particular document so not only that uh, uh, related with that particular document itself you can ask general questions related uh, there is common questions uh, for example say it is if you want the operation of a pmsc means you can ask it will generate answers for that also as like so you can make use of this chat and talk better and make your literature review very easy and you can avail this uh, how will this uh, so here there are points in them so you cannot use fully for free so it is for a limited version so remaining 2100 points powered by gpt 3.5 so so make use of this option to make your research paper writing very easy so thank you for watching our videos hope this video will be very helpful for you have a nice day thank you